Oi, you! Have you been calling the parrots birds instead of burbs? Well, that's because... You're absolutely doing it wrong! Which automatically means there is dishonor on you and dishonor on your cow. But don't worry, here as the Salt Shaker family, we have you covered. We've made merch specifically for you. This design has everything from a cow being dishonored, a little Salt Shaker grain, and the famous motto, you're doing it wrong. This model is limited, limited edition! edition. Only until April 20th. Comes in t-shirts, hoodies, mugs, and stickers, and tote bags if you want. All the information in the description box below and the iCard section. Cause when you're a grain, you come in like a hurricane. Hello, grains. So recently on my community tab, Instagram, and Twitter, I asked you what you wanted to see for today's video. An unboxing of mail you sent me in my PO box, me testing out Instagram crafts, or a sculpture makeover from, from a thrift store. A thrift store sculpture makeover. And even though I am really tight on time to record this video, y'all chose the thing that takes the longest. Thank you. I know I'm a sucker for punishment, but I didn't know you liked to see me suffer. <coughs> Oh, the salt. Let's keep it down for today. So then I gave you a second choice, which is to choose which sculpture I need to make. Contestant number one, this glass toucan, which it seems it was painted kind of like a glass window drawing thing. And the colors are really vibrant. It's really, really up my alley. I love saturated things. But the thing that this poor um, bird has to go through, it seems like it's seen things. And then we have contestant number two. I'm not sure what this is. It, it freaks me out. It looks like it's not that it's seen things, but it's on things. At first glance, I really thought this was a mouse because of the teeth, but as it turns around, you'll see that it has bunny ears. This thing is a bunny. And my guess, the reason it was in a thrift store is because someone dropped it and it is missing a whole foot. So here we are on the two choices. I really, I am, I am praying to the Instagram poll gods and Twitter that you grains did not choose the bunny. There's a lot less I could do with this. I feel like the bird, I could add more things to it. The bunny. Yeah, I, I, I just, I just don't know what I would do with that. And not to mention the bottom part of it has felt. Look at that. I, don't, I guess it's not to scratch the table, but... So now we have the moment of truth. Let's, let's check Instagram stories. And all right, so what do you want to see on Friday? Sculpture makeover, and then... No! No! Why? No! Okay, maybe, maybe Twitter is on my side. Let's, let's check Twitter real quick. And the poll it... No! <laughs> Why? Not only did you grains choose the thing that takes the longest because I'm on a tight schedule, but you also chose the, the sculpture I wanted the least. I, I <laughs> it's hard to say. I still love you. I still love you. Even though today you've made me sad. I guess I have no choice but to stare at it and hope that the sculpture speaks to me and tells me what I could turn it into. <laughs> You're stuck with me, aren't you? Your so-called grains are supposed to love you. But they gave you me instead. But now you must make me beautiful. Everyone will judge you based on this sculpture. <laughs> this week's shoutouts go to Leia Spammy, Weeb from Space, Faiza Malik, and Derpy Llama 120. If you want to shout out my Friday videos, don't forget to hashtag Nerdification Squad in the comment section below within the first 45 minutes of a video's release, or hashtag NerdyCrafter on Instagram or Twitter anytime with any of your creations. So the idea I want to keep with this, I, I, it, it spoke to me long enough, and I want to keep the same feel it has on this sculpture. So I'm still going to keep the hat and, and the, little, the little booty shorts, but I'm going to change this creature entirely from a bunny to a mythical beast. And yes, I still want to keep the guitar. So we're going to be building on top of the sculpture to give it a look that is more a salty grains than, than a cute little a thing on someone's shelf. We, we want it on our shelf. Uh, first thing we need to do is remove this because my little grains, this is flammable. Pretty sure it's gonna melt in the oven. All right, let's get to work. And so my weapon of choice is liquid Sculpey as well as Sculpey Original. Bunny creature, 
Meat sandpaper. I figured I would sand the parts that I wanted to modify more specifically, so it's going to turn out to be a creature that one of your cool grandmas would keep on her shelf. Upon closer inspection, we can see that whoever had this sculpture really wanted to keep it. Because even though one foot is missing, that was probably the, the last straw, the other foot did break and it looks like they tried to glue it together. I'm still debating, do I want to make a dragon type creature or do I want to make a mystical mouse? I feel like I am leaning more towards the dragon just because I really do want to change this character completely. And I do feel like the booty is probably just a little too um, droopy, a uh, droopy booty. Droopy, droopy booty. And it has no thighs. So I'm filling out the area where the thighs would go, but I'm still going to keep it kind of in the little shorts. Things really started to come together as I'm putting it and blocking out the shapes, and now let's do the tail. Oh, what is that? Okay, wow. Okay, so it says made in England. Since this little guy is made in England, it needs the most British name ever. Make sure that you vote in the iCard section. What name will this dragon creature have? Maybe you want to wait until the end to see. But yeah, another thing that you want to see here is that, look, does it have a shirt or does it not have a shirt? Because this sleeve goes nowhere. We're gonna have to add something here. I think I might actually have to add a cape and turn this little buddy into a bard. If you ever find that your piece has way too many bumps and lumps and fingerprints, feel free to use rubbing alcohol and a Q-tip to clean it up good. Point, I really wanted to start adding more detail so I was like I'll get to the face later because I lost the eye that I wanted to use but it's pretty much the same eye I wanted to use for the parrot one if you're interested you can check that one in the description box below and here we're going to be adding the horns and I think I am ready to do the face now the next morning I looked like poo but that's okay that's beside the point I am absolutely in love so far with our dragon bard I really didn't think we could go from ugly what the heck rabbit to something I would put on my own shelf but let's not get ahead of ourselves because we still have the painting job to do and before that <laughs> dear baking gods of evermore please protect my piece from cracks burns and fallen limbs and also Stop breaking my stuff! Now, what's the story of this dragon? Why is it a bard? Why is it making sad poems? The reason behind that is that this dragon is born without wings. And so it had to explore different talents. And one of them is that it has an absolutely gorgeous voice.
longer than I want to admit. So I've been working on him for, yeah, two days. Two days. I have to say, I am in love. I really didn't think we could take this ridiculously ugly bunny and turn it into a really cool dragon bard. I have a limerick for you. There once was a little dragon kin who thought having no wings was a sin. It sang its little heart out, removed the pout from its snout, and made all around it happy to grin. What do you think? Do you think I did okay? Did I, do I pass the transformation? Make sure you vote. I really love the gaze on this creature because it gives me this idea of that he's, he's thinking about who he is and what he could have been and the fact that he doesn't have any wings doesn't change the fact that he's talented in any other way and perhaps if he had wings he would have never discovered that he's very talented at being a bard. Too deep? Maybe. Don't forget to check out my limited edition merch. I'm, I'm going to bug you until the time is up and then you won't hear from it again. I'll leave all the information in the description box below as well as in the iCard section only until April 20th. It, it keeps saying April 20th or 21st, so I'm confused. I said it until April 20th, so I guess we'll see. A huge shout out and thank you to all members that have been joining me here on YouTube. And for the sea salt tier, you grains get your shout out. Shout outs go to Aurori. Prisma and Copic Trini Arts, Ashley Joe, Nine Tails is Awesome, I agree, Meredith Bruns, 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 Raptor Queen, Pokari Roo, some of you have been asking, is that the Pokari Roo? And the answer is yes, it is the Pokari Roo. Tasha Duncan, Wicked Lotus, Juliet Glazer, Sora2413, Jacka Smith, Crafty Monster, and Angel Fire. Thank you to all the grains who are supporting me through members. And if you're not a member, thank you so much to the grains who are watching, liking, and commenting. I appreciate every form of support. All of it. Give me all of it. If you want to watch a salty video, because this was a little too sweet, make sure you check it up up here. And if you want to watch a salty... Wait, did I say salty twice again? If you want to watch a recommended video by YouTube, you could check it here. And if you want to watch my latest upload from last time, check it out over here. Until then, I will see you grains in the next video.